Hi, my name is PY. I'm a student enrolled in the CS50 course um, on EDX and I wanted to share with you some insights I got while trying to understand um, recursion. Um, so basically after, wa after watching the short on recursion um, I had a difficult time really understanding how those recursive functions work um, and through some reading and sort of visualization of how those functions return stuff I sort of got the hang of it and this may help you um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that function which is recursive one uh, it's the collect collapse conjecture it's the last uh, exercise at the end of the short um, so I'm going to go through the function how it actually works and how it's trying to return stuff um, so uh, let's go through this um, we're going to initialize z as 5, okay? I'm not going to call the function, I'm just going to set the, ar the argument as 5. So, uh, assuming z is 5, let's go through this. 5 uh, is not equal to 1. Okay, next. Uh, is, it, is 5 modulo 2 equal to 0? No. That means it's an odd number. Yes, it is. Uh, return. Okay, perfect. We're, we get to our return here. So what is it trying to return? It's trying to return 1 plus an unknown value. That unknown value could be, could be anything. It could be a variable or it could be uh, a function. So if it was, let's say, a, a variable x, let's say if it was simple as that, we don't know what it is. We have to go check what it is. So if we had declared here that x equals to 5, then we can know that 1 plus x, x is 5. So we're actually going up to check what it is. So we could replace now the x by 5, 1 plus 5 is equals to 6. So the same thing happens with functions. We have, we have to go check up to see how uh, uh, to determine that unknown value. So, so we're going we're gonna to say x is actually this whole line here, this long line of unknown value. <coughs> that unknown value is actually a function. It's collapse 3 times z plus 1. z is 5 at this point. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Okay, so to determine, we have to run the function with z as 16. Okay, let's do this again. 16 is not 1. Is 16 modulo 2 equals to 0? Yes, it is, uh, because it's an even number. Um, good, so now we're, we're ready to return something. Good, so that means that this whole unknown value, I'm going to know what it is. It's actually 1 plus something it's an unknown value again okay so I could say you know what I'm going to replace this by 1 plus the unknown value I have yet to I have to determine what this is what is it it's a function okay um, uh, to, to get the value of that function the return the return of that function I have to run it okay so collapse z divided by 2 what is z at this point it's 16 so we're trying to run the function Collapse with the argument as 8. Okay. 8 is not 1. Is even. Perfect. Return. Good. Now I'm, I'm, I'm finally going to understand what this means. It's actually 1 plus, oh, again, another unknown value. It's okay. I'm just going to replace this whole thing by 1 plus and my unknown value. This unknown value is a function. So we do this again. Collapse of z divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now we can run this function with the argument z as 4. 4 is not 1. Is um, 4 div modulo 2 0? Yes, it is. We're trying to return 1 plus a function, an unknown. Okay, so I'm going to replace this by 1 plus an unknown value. That unknown value is a function. Okay, I'm going to call that function, and the argument is 4 divided by 2. So this point is equal to 2. So 2 is not 1, but it's indeed an even number. So we're returning 1 plus, again, an unknown value. Fine. I'm okay with this. At this point, uh, run the function with the argument 2 divided by 2. That's 1. Z equals to 1. Is 1 equal to 1? Yes, it is. We, we, return, um, we return 0 in this case. So we return this whole thing, and now we have... Um, fully known values. So we've add all of this together, we get 5. 